वेलकम टू क्विक लिटरेचर एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर लिटरेचर वीडियोस द गोल्डन नोटबुक कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग सेक्शंस देयर इज फ्रेमिंग नैरेटिव कॉल्ड फ्री वुमेन नैरेटेड इन द थर्ड पर्सन एंड फीचरिंग अ कैरेक्टर नेम्ड एना वुल्फ एंड आर राइट्स इन फोर नोटबुक्स वन ब्लैक वन रेड वन येलो एंड वन ब्लू द नोवेल अल्टरनेट्स बिटवीन डिस्क्राइबिंग एनाज लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड रिवीलिंग द कंटेंट ऑफ द डिफरेंट नोटबुक्स It eventually features a section from a fifth notebook, the Golden Notebook. Anna Freeman Wolf is an English woman who moves to the African colony of Rhodesia in 1939 just as World War II is breaking out. During her time in Africa, she becomes involved in leftist politics and builds a close-knit circle of friends who are also involved with the cause. Anna is involved in a romantic relationship with a man named Max Wolf, but has ambivalent feelings for him throughout. As the war is ending, Max and Anna decide to have a child together. They get married in 1945 and their daughter Janet is born in 1946. Anna and Max get divorced when Janet is still a baby and Anna returns to London to live as a single mother and work as a writer. In 1951, Anna publishes a novel called Frontiers of War which is set in Africa. The novel draws on her own experiences and ends up selling very well. giving anna enough money to live off of anna also becomes active in working for the british communist party upon her return to england anna ends up living with a woman named molly who is also a single mother molly has been raising her son tommy after getting divorced from her husband richard anna also becomes romantically involved with a married man named michael whom she loves very much and has a five year relationship with in 1954 anna's relationship with michael ends and she also leaves the communist party after growing increasingly disillusioned the frame narrative opens in 1957 with all of these past events gradually being revealed through the contents of the notebooks the black notebook focuses on anna's experiences in africa and her experiences with the reception and adaptation of her novel the red notebook focuses on her experiences with communism while the yellow notebook contains a narrative called the shadow of a third which seems to be a thinly fictionalized account of Anna's relationship with Michael. The blue notebook resembles a journal in which Anna records memories and reflections. In 1957, Anna is trying to help Molly and Richard with their adolescent son Tommy. Unfortunately, Tommy attempts to commit suicide and is left blind as a result. The suicide attempt and Tommy's subsequent strange behavior prompt Anna to reflect on her life and her purpose in writing. She is feeling anxious about writing a second novel but she is unsure of how to proceed. By the time Tommy recovers, Anna's own mental health is becoming increasingly disturbed. After her daughter goes to boarding school and Anna is left alone, she becomes involved in a destructive affair with an American screenwriter. This relationship pushes Anna to the brink of a mental breakdown, but this results in her eventually being able to begin her second novel. The scene in which she writes the first line of that novel reveals that the frame narrative itself is also a larger piece of fiction written by Anna herself Anna eventually decides that she needs to find work and the novel ends with her telling Molly about her plans to work as a marriage counselor and teacher by this point Molly is planning to remarry the novel ends with the two women calmly going about their everyday lives thanks for watching Do check the links in description to support the channel and comment below if you have any suggestions.